Now that you've avoided the terrifying clam, you climb up the tree, pick up the notes, Alright, so last last episode I said I was going to be taking requests from, from my shell phone if any, any folks want to call in about the um, Nas Advice shell. So I got, I got the phone set up, I got the, uh, it's a, it's a home phone, one of those big uh, things that you used to attach to your wall. Kids of today wouldn't know what it is because kids of today are uh, uh, stupid. So if anybody uh, calls in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take their advice, and I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna help them out. I'm a, I'm a generous soul, all right. So uh, if anyone dares to ring, I'll help them out. We'll see what happens. So here we are climbing up a pole. Um, it's pretty cool. Oh, I can't swim. What kind of a pirate can't swim? I don't know any pirates that can't swim. Mm -mm. I do not. So, what you want to do here is uh, completely miss that note. That's a that's a good speedrunning tip. Um, Ahoy there! What if this game had fully voiced lines? What would that gold even sound like? Would it be like just Morse code or something? Just a few pilot. If there was Banjo Kazooie movie, who would play the gold that can just hit themselves and make noise? Dwayne the Gold Johnson? Maybe. It's a crab. Let's kill the crab. Yeah, kill, kill, kill the crab. Mm, poor baby crying because he lost all your money. Oh, boo boo, baby. Yeah, I lost all my gold, but I got this gold piece right here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Exactly right. So what you want to do is just get hurt on this box, completely miss the opening, and then backflip into it. Those are some good speedrunning tips and tutorials. I love that fourth wall breaking. Right up here there's a little mumbo token, a little tip. For any aspiring Banjo Kazooie speedrunners, <gasps> then my advice would probably be to spin into it. Or fly into it, not spin. I gotta stop giving advice. Oh! You hear that? And that, my friends, is an advice. Hello, you're on the air. How can I help you? Uh, hello, uh, I want to play Banjo-Kazooie. You want to play Banjo-Kazooie? <laughs> Alright. Uh, what systems do you have? I, I have a telephone. I'm calling you on my telephone. You, you, you just, you just have the telephone? Yeah, I, I just have the telephone. Okay, uh, what kind of telephone is it? It's a... 
It's alright, just use your words. There's no need to cry or anything. It's a <laughs> There's no need to cry. It's a it's a it's a it's an android. Okay. Well, here's what you wanna do. Uh there's a little app on the Android app store called um Tendo, I think. Also, why is Shockbait Island unopened? What's Shockbait? Shut up! I'm not talking to you. Why is Shockbait Island open? That's only supposed to be open when you 100% the game. Anyway, there's an app on the Google Play Store, store called um, Tendo64. You uh, download that, and then you go into... Uh, uh, yeah, that that's probably gonna get me arrested if I continued the advice. Um, listen, you didn't hear this from me. I uh, I heard there's a website where you can download ROMs. Not sure what it is. Um, so I got a it's a paradise of an, a classic Australian animal. There was a war. Where, where I was involved. An Australian war featuring uh, an Australian animal and about, I think, 10,000. No, it was 10,000 rounds of ammo that they wasted. I don't know how many soldiers were involved. I think there were two bird casualties, uh, seven human casualties, just from unrelated incidents. But yeah, go to that website. It's, you know, classic Australian animal paradise.me. Um, and then you can you can probably find you can probably find something related to Banjo Kazooie in the Nintendo 64 ROM. Um, yeah, just uh just pay somebody money to say, hey look, this is the money that would have gone into buying the game if it was still commercially available. Um, then just install both of those to your phone and you can get it running. Okay? Did that help you out? Yes. Thank you for your time and your... You're not funny at all. Jeez, I'm... Okay, I'm hanging up. Alright, don't call me again, uh, anybody. The advice shell is uh, broken on the floor. It's, um, I'm no longer going to be giving out advice. Any advice that I do give out, you'll have to pay down me $50. Um, because honestly, I'm sick of people wasting my time with their bogus claims. Oh, I need help. Uh, my wife is giving me birth and I don't want children. It's just like, ugh, get a vasectomy or something, dude. Learn from the best. And the worst of YouTube. Me. There's a ginger, I completely missed it. I don't know. Am I going, am I turning back to get it? No. What is wrong with this guy? Just going to ground pound the tower. Ground pound the tower. Or completely miss. Oh, because there's notes. And there's a the honeycomb. Wow. Wow. Alright, there's a the honeycomb. PayPal me, uh. PayPal be, uh. $915 for giving you that tip. It may, it may sound a little extreme, but guess what? You would have never found that honeycomb if it were not for me. You would never live there, I don't know if it were not for me, alright? It's there in the Nintendo 64 version. That's gonna be another $934, alright? That was the original amount, right? 941? Yeah, that's how much it was. Follow the clues if you leave it Here's a tip for you. Free of charge. Uh, there's a ginger right there. 
Yep. That's that's the tip. <laughs> All right, now's the pod when you go and ground pound the ground pound the X. So let's just ground pound the X. Am I right or am I right? Uh. 